Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about the topic classification. So what is classification? Let's get started. So classification is a very important and very popular tool in machine learning. So I'm super excited to get started. Let's have a look. So classification can be defined as a machine learning technique to identify the category of new observation based upon the training data. So if it if you can compare it with the regression, this is different to the regression where we had to predict a continuous number. Here we use classification to predict a category. And very important thing is it's a type of supervised learning algorithm. I'll be talking about this supervised and unsupervised learning algorithm in my future videos. Here I'll not be talking about it. Just remember for a while that it's a type of supervised learning algorithm. So there are actually a variety of applications of classification from medicine to marketing to business and lots of different areas. Let's discuss some applications of this classification. Here you can see I have uh, uh, shown some pictures here. You can see the very first thing we can see on the left side. For example, you have a customers of a business, right? And you would like to predict which ones are likely to stay and which one are likely to leave. So, and this is also called as a churn modeling. Very important because if you can predict which customers are likely to leave your business in the next month or six months, then you can take some actions and send them some special offers or ask them from about their feedback and make some certain changes so that they stay. So this is a very powerful tool for the businesses. Another application is email. For for instance, you get an email. It may be classified into a as a normal mail, right? Or it may be classified as a very important or urgent mail. It might have a special marker, a marker especially if you're using Gmail. Uh, you must have seen some uh, markers over there at the beginning of a message saying it's important. Or it may be categorized as a promotion mail. It might be put in, into separate folder and it's not filling up your main inbox which you use for the work. Or it may be categorized as a spam. So spam filters have been become very good over the past few years. We barely see any spam in our inboxes and thanks to the classification algorithms. Another application is image recognition. For instance, you can see we have a lot of images of dogs and cats. Classification would be able to separate the dogs from the cats. And these are just a few examples. So it's a very powerful tool and, uh, and which, which is falling into the family of classification in machine learning and there are variety of applications. So I'll be talking about it more and I'll be showing you how we can implement in R in my upcoming videos. So for this, for this video, that's it for all. I hope uh, you must have understood the basic or little introduction to classification. Thanks for watching guys. See you next video.